Did you ever wonder where Korea's celebrities and richest families live? Well, prepare to find out. Today, I'll give you a tour of the wealthiest districts and neighborhoods in Seoul. Hello everyone, welcome to Multicultural Lingo. I love watching K-dramas because they offer a glimpse into the life of wealthy Koreans, but in most cases, it's just fiction. So, today I decided to explore the high-end neighborhoods the real-life rich Koreans call home, providing you with an exclusive peek into their luxurious lifestyles. Before we start, let me clarify two things. First, unlike what we have seen in my video about the life of rich Chinese, wealth in Korea is concentrated in only one city, the capital, Seoul. Second, the city is organized in districts called Gu in Korean, and neighborhood called Dong. Please, remember these two words, as we jump right in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to support my channel and my work, thank you. First stop on our list is the glitzy Gangnam District. Yes, that Gangnam, the one you probably know from C's viral hit song, Gangnam Style. It's a district that has become synonymous with affluence and luxury, where the creme de la creme of Korea's society reside. But for different reasons. The first neighborhood on our list is Daichi Dong, home to thousands of private academies that provide tailor-made lessons and boast the nation's best teachers. Many families move to this Gangnam neighborhood only for educational purposes because they want the best for their children. For an apartment unit in Daichi Dong, these families are ready to pay an average around 1.3 billion ones, that is about 980,000 USD and 900,000 euros. The most expensive neighborhood in Gangnam is Cheongdam with its stunning views of the Han River. A number of Korea's top stars, from actors to K-pop idols such as BTS Jungkook and V, have been known to reside in this posh area. In 2023, the penthouse Cheongdam apartments were the most expensive in South Korea, with an actual transaction value of around 16.24 billion South Korean won, meaning about 12 million USD and 11 million euros. Last but not least on our list of Gangnam wealthiest Dong is Apgujong Dong with one square meter of land costing approximately 26,000 euros, that is about 2,600 USD per square feet. The people walking its streets resembled fashion icons, contributing to Apgujong Dong being called the neighborhood of fashion. To this day in Apgujong Dong you can find many designer brands, department stores and independent boutiques. A famous part of Apgujong Dong is the Hallyu K-Star Road, this is a street filled with teddy bear-shaped statues of famous Korean celebrities. Also, this area is well known for its numerous dermatology and plastic surgery clinics. Now let's move to another district of Seoul that many rich Koreans choose to live in. Northwest of Gangnam-gu is Yongsan-gu, Seoul's most diverse district, home to many foreign embassies, and of course the Itaewon Special Tourist Zone. But let's take it one step at a time, shall we? First stop, the Beverly Hills of Seoul, the UN Village. It is an exclusive neighborhood near lots of shopping, schools and chic cafes and restaurants. It also has high security, perfect for celebrities who want peace and quiet. Here live the singer Psy, some of the BTS, Big Bang's G-Dragon, and Blackpink's Jennie. The average starting price of a luxury home here is 3 billion South Korean ones, 2.65 million USD or 2.4 million euros. But newly constructed villas can cost more than 10 billion ones. 9 million USD or 8.3 million euros. The UN village is part of the Hanam Dong, with its prime location in the heart of Seoul and its scenic views of the famous Han River. Many of South Korea's rich and famous often flock to this elite neighborhood. Here, Samsung Electronics chairman Lee Kun Hee and his family owns the five most expensive residences in Seoul. One of these is estimated to be worth 22.1 billion won, 19.51 million USD or 18 million euros making it the most expensive house not only in the capital but also in the country. Moving to another district, the neighborhood Pyeongchang Dong is in Jungnogu at the foot of Bukhan Mountain. This place is the residence of the Korean elite with a large concentration of famous politicians, businessmen and artists. This area is quite familiar to Korean drama fans because it is often the setting for rich families in Korean dramas like All Mine. In Pyeongchang Dong you won't find many apartments but huge villas surrounded by greenery. If the Gangnam area is known for its busy, noisy and vibrant lifestyle, Pyeongchang Dong offers a peaceful, fresh atmosphere and very beautiful scenery. I couldn't find any average price for this neighborhood, but all the villas I've seen here cost more than 2.5 million USD. Okay, we got time for two more districts and neighborhoods. Rich with history, the Xiongbuk neighborhood is nestled in the foothills of the mountains overlooking the city. 
This place is serene and peaceful, it really screams old money, and also features some hanoks, traditional Korean houses. Once the home to royals during the Chosean dynasty, the neighborhood has retained its prestigious air and is now home to many politicians and leaders of Korea's conglomerates. Jongbuk-dong is also one of the principal shooting locations for Oscar-winning film Parasite. Finally we get to Seocho-gu, which is considered part of the Gangnam area and includes both detached villas and high skyscrapers. In 20202, Seoko district ranked as the richest neighborhood in South Korea and among the most expensive areas in Seoul with an average sales price of 14.5 million South Korean one per square meter. That is around 10,000 euros per square meter or 1,000 USD per square foot. Many of Korea's top celebrities and influencers have chosen this place as their residence, drawn by its combination of privacy and proximity to the city's hottest spots. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of where the rich Koreans live in Seoul. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Multicultural Lingo for more interesting content.